you raise our guy too. Yeah. We're not buying this their friendship so easy. Mm. You see that OZ. <laughs> we made a bad decision <laughs> this day and as one. Well. I don't like Grammy's attitude. Like when we're in the kitchen, like allow people do their thing. I was like, okay, you want to make vegetable sauce? Use pepper and onion, make tomato. This Sean, I'm worried about one name. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ruti and DJ Flov had their first diary session of the season today and it was such a captivating one like they spent so much time but I enjoyed from beginning to end they first of all thanked the big brother you know the opportunity to be here how the house is beautiful food great and they've been enjoying themselves when Biggie asked about housemates that have made good impression or bad impression towards them they mentioned uh for good impression they mentioned the zinways that zion and chinwe and for bad impression <laughs> ruti actually started with uh dami lola and i'm like dami lola again <laughs> dami lola baby better be coming down anyway it's all add to the flavor of the show it's, it's all spice of the show so Ruti said that Dami talks to her like, like she's her boss. <laughs> that uh, while in the kitchen, uh, Dami Lola instructed her because Dami was like, "Oh, you make the vegetable sauce while I make the rice," and Dami kept giving instruction like, "Oh, don't use tomatoes, use only pepper, use only onion and onions and pepper." And she was like, "Ah." <laughs> what's going on here that she had to go and tell chin we see you and she said i should use just onion and pepper i don't understand and chin said you know what just do you Ruti said it's even more funny being that she she's a chef and her mom is a caterer as well in fact that that food is their family business they be catering for events and all that and now this is dami lola who when she asked when did you start her cooking she said this year <laughs> I actually laugh because you know in a situation like this you'll be expecting to hear maybe it's the person that is that me lola that even thought you know, that basi how to cook you know maybe years of experience now since you're dishing out instruction ruti said she decided to keep quiet being that it's still week one they just got here you know she's trying to calm down at least relax being that it took her auditioning for six times before getting on this show still on a bad impression they said they regret giving their votes to them by the ways being that they initially they thought of the same ways uh they thought of zimwe that's chingwe and zion but being that they are their party and with the way them by the ways were hustling for that thing they said let them just give it to them but they said they will never make a bad decision again that the character switch these guys display is on another level that immediately they became the hoh things changed uh the, the way they now talk that there was even a time they suggested the house suggested they have a slogan that they will reply to when they say no lose god they will reply to it and they were shocked so in the uh, when the heads of house said there's already a slogan and even when the house didn't go well with the slogan they suggested you know they were talking of originality uh, let them keep to this one but in in summary it means that they just want the housemates to stick to their personal opinion which is not good in leadership they also mentioned the uh, double k as housemates that have made good impression of them but then they told big brother that they are really suspecting there is something going on now in fact she even said she thinks these people are real life couple three years married you know but they really think there is a relationship there and Ruth even said she remember while cooking in the kitchen while how um kelly came and said oh don't fry cassia's uh turkey you know and 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 he went ahead to mention something about doctor uh advising not to eat cholesterol and all that and uh the other time she was cooking and cassia came saying oh this food is so pepperish that her husband like not mentioning her husband now her pair won't eat this she said the vibe is someone looking out for her boyfriend the vibe is not just 
someone you're besties or just a pair with that they really think something is going on but they are on it that uh dj fluff ruti and chingwe they are investigating <laughs> to know what's going on if i told big brother to give them till next week next week that they will definitely find out what they are either they're in a relationship or they're married still on their detective skill they also mentioned how they had a uh, Ruthie mentioned how she had a conversation with sean regarding wani that it may seem as though wani is the only one invested in this ship thing that sean said wani is just a housemate when they had conversations because sean came to meet her asking oh why she's not trying to have a convo with him and she said that she respects boundaries and won't want it coming between you know being that she's assuming sean is already in a ship but then sean said no that one is just uh a housemate and he has already told wani to try and get along with other housemates as well hmm. and ruth is saying that hmm she just thinks wani said is in it so let's not be that you are shipping yourself at the end of the day now maybe the guy will move into another ship or you you just see yourself just uh being there Honestly, I won't lie. I enjoyed their diary session. And they also told Biggie that this year makes it their 10 years of friendship. Being that they met in 2014 in Ghana while in uni. And their wager task on Friday is going to portray that, you know, all that they've gone through in their friendship. That it was even during audition that it just dawned on them that, oh, we are 10 years old and there is no other better anniversary gift than the both of them being on big being in biggie's house you know growing together achieving things together doing great things together and biggie said they should get a hug <laughs> so they both stood up and hugged themselves honestly i enjoyed the diary session it was so so uh, engaging they are both uh, very expressive people Ruth even dropped one or two tears while uh, telling Big Brother that it's actually being here still feels unreal and it actually means that dreams do come true. Being that she auditioned six times and in all the six times, uh, DJ Fluff has always been there encouraging her to do more, to go for it. And here she is and not just alone, she's also dealing with, with DJ Fluff. So with that, their diary session came to an end.